After the events of Jurassic Park, the Tyrannosaurus Rex was by far the most dominant land creature on the entire island. And the same kind of scenario took place after Jurassic World as well. Isla Nublar, although it was a dinosaur-infested island, had no real challenges for Rexy. And as we now head into Jurassic World Dominion, this likely will repeat once again. Now the Tyrannosaurus Rex is not only in a much larger environment, but there is even less challenges now. Along with that, however, comes of course the lack of food and the lack of resources, but because of the prior knowledge of how dominant Rexy was back on Isla Nublar, we can assume for the human characters, she will be one of the main focuses on mainland. None of the humans want to see a repeat of the Lost World, and this right here almost automatically brings Rexy back to her Jurassic Park roots. When we saw this Tyrannosaurus Rex for the very first time in the franchise, she was far more aggressive and antagonistic. And that same Tyrannosaurus Rex aura continued in the Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 momentarily. And ever since the Spinosaurus vs Tyrannosaurus Rex battle, I believe the writers and directors became a bit more hesitant regarding the T-Rex. Putting this dinosaur in a very aggressive role, it does increase its chances of dying off. And when it does come to Rexy in specific, I believe the vast majority of this fan base wants to see this dinosaur survive. In the Jurassic World series so far, she has almost become a bit more heroic. She fought the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World, she saved Owen from the Carnotaurus in Fallen Kingdom, and on top of that, technically she saved Blue in that film as well. That of course is with the blood transfusion scene. And of course this T-Rex has produced many iconic scenes. However, I would say her best scenes are when she's in a much more aggressive role. And that is exactly why I do believe it's a good thing for Jurassic World Dominion. When you think about the goat scene, the must go faster sequence, and then even the opening sequences for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there really aren't many things in the Jurassic Park franchise that are more entertaining than an aggressive T-Rex. And you can imagine depending on what route they go down, they will have characters trying to drive her out of territories. So this automatically makes for more aggressive scenes, and again, and like I said before, it brings back that original Jurassic Park feel. And on top of all the territory scenes, she is similar to the Mosasaurus in one way. They are capable of wiping out their own ecosystems. So that's of course one more reason as to why they would not want the T-Rex on mainland. If she is able to be on her own, she could wipe out certain ecosystems, and she may end up moving to the city environments. So all in all, I do believe this is a positive for Jurassic World Dominion. This is part of what the Jurassic Park franchise was built on, so it's good to bring it back for the last film of the Jurassic World trilogy. For all of you though, what do you think about this? Is it better for a Tyrannosaurus Rex to be aggressive or not? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.